This little presentation is called Dehydration Synthesis, and it's a chemical process to join two molecules. Okay, in this slide we're going to join two molecules together, and uh, my molecules are just going to be represented by green squiggly shapes. So we have molecule one and we have molecule two. The process will form a polymer from the two monomers. Okay, I want to be crystal clear on what we're trying to do here. We're taking two non-descriptive molecules and we're calling them monomers and we're going to join them together in this process known as dehydration synthesis to create a polymer. Poly means many. A polymer is made of many monomers. In this case it's actually a dimer. Dimer means two. Okay, um, in order for dehydration to work each monomer needs a functional group which is an oxygen atom attached to a hydrogen atom. Notice that with the functional groups, the oxygen is attached to the molecule and the hydrogen is attached to the oxygen atom. Okay, here's our two monomers and their two functional groups facing each other. Dehydration means losing water what is water? It's H2O. So let's get rid of one H2O molecule. So we need to cross out one of the oxygens and two of the H's. So we're going to symbolize that with a drop of water and we're going to write H2O inside the drop. So now what do we have left? Well we have a monomer on this side with a bond and we have a monomer on this side with an oxygen and they just connect up just like that. So what do we do? We join two monomer, monomers and we made a dimer. That is dehydration synthesis. So what can dehydration do for us in real life? Well it can join two sugar monomers to make a carbohydrate. It can join two fat monomers to make a lipid. And it can join two amino acids to make a protein. Okay, I'm going to end this video with a Example of making a carbohydrate from two sugar monomers. The type of sugar we're going to use today is called glucose. So let me show you what glucose looks like. Glucose has the chemical formula C6H12O6. That means there are six carbon atoms in the molecule, 12 hydrogen atoms, and six oxygen atoms. The glucose molecule is a ring structure shown, and at each intersection where I'm drawing these big red dots is a carbon atom. So those are where five of the carbon atoms live, and one is off to the side. The red lines represent chemical bonds, and I've drawn in one oxygen atom at this location in the ring. So now we're going to locate the other five oxygen atoms in the glucose molecule. There's one. There's one on the inside of the ring. There's one on the outside of the ring. There's one over here, and there is one over here. And finally, we need to locate our 12 hydrogen atoms. There's one here by itself, and one here by itself, and here, 
and here, and here, here. And we have six more to go. One is bonded to the oxygen here as a functional group. One here, one here, one here, one here, and that leaves only five that I found. And the most common mistake that people make is they forget this chemical bond here. And this last hydrogen is attached at that point. It'd be a good idea to memorize the formula for glucose, right, C6H12O6, and to be able to draw this monomer, the ring form of glucose. So when I teach how to form a carbohydrate from two glucose molecules, I use this abbreviated version. And I just show a couple of functional groups, one there and one here, right? So we have our sugar rings and our functional groups, and through dehydration we take away H2O. So there is my water drop that I removed. And the end result is my dimer, which would be a simple carbohydrate. Two rings joined together by a common oxygen atom like that. And there you go. That's all there is to it. Dehydration synthesis to create a polymer from two monomers.